This is an interesting question, an easy one nevertheless. Classify the question of the GMAT 600 plus problem solving practice question in geometry. A wheel of a car of radius 21 centimeters is rotating at 600 rpm. Radius is 21 centimeters, it is rotating at 600 rpm. What we need to compute is the speed of the car in kilometers per hour. We have 5 answer options as always. Let us get started. What do we have to find out? We need to compute the speed. How is speed typically computed? Speed is nothing but distance travelled divided by time elapsed, right? We will typically say what is the number of kilometers travelled in 1 hour? What is the number of meters travelled in 1 minute? So, it is a distance travelled divided by the time elapsed to cover the distance, right? What are we going to do in this question? I am going to solve this question taking 2 steps. In the first step, what I am going to find out is what is the distance that this wheel covers when it is making one rotation, right? In one rotation, let us find out the distance travelled by this wheel. That is nothing but the circumference of this wheel. So, the circumference of the wheel is going to give us the distance travelled in one rotation. That is the first step, right? Now, I know in one rotation it makes, it covers so much distance. I am going to go ahead and find out what is the distance that it will cover in one minute. Distance covered in one rotation multiplied by the number of rotations done in a minute, number of revolutions per minute will give us a distance covered by this wheel in one minute, right? So, step one, compute the distance travelled in a minute. How am I going to go about it? I am going to compute the circumference. That gives me the distance covered in one rotation. To this, I multiply the RPM. We will find out the distance travelled in a minute. One rotation, we know the distance. We know 600 rotations per minute. So, 600 times the distance travelled per rotation will give us the distance travelled in one minute. Isn't this the speed of this car expressed in the unit of circumference, which is going to be a centimeter for every minute? So, we are finding out actually the speed in centimeters per minute once we have found out the answer in step 1. All that is left is to translate this unit from centimeters per minute into kilometers per hour. That should give us the answer, right? Let's quickly run through it. We're going to compute the circumference that will tell us the distance covered by the wheel in one rotation. Multiply that value with the number of rotations per minute or revolutions per minute, which is the RPM. That will give us the distance travelled by the car in one minute. So, essentially we will have the speed of the car is so many centimeters per minute. Why centimeters? Because the radius is expressed in terms of centimeters. Convert this unit centimeter to kilometer, minutes to hour, we will have the speed in terms of kilometers per hour. Let us get started. So, step 1, we are going to compute the circumference of this wheel, which is going to tell us the distance covered in one rotation. Circumference of a wheel, which is a circle, is 2 pi r, which is equal to 2 times 22 upon 7 times the radius is equal to a 21. Cancel the 7 with 21 to leave us with a 3. 44 times 3 is equal to 132 centimeters. This is the circumference. This is the distance travelled in one rotation, right? So, I will say distance in one rotation is equal to 132 centimeters. Next step, we will compute the distance covered in 1 minute, right? So, distance in 1 minute is equal to the distance covered in 1 rotation, 132 centimeters times the number of revolutions per minute. This will give us the distance in 1 minute, right? 132 times 600, let us keep it as it is or we will do the multiplication. 600 plus 192, which is going to be a 792, 0, 0 centimeters. This is the distance covered in 1 minute. So, if I can say, therefore, the speed of the car is nothing but 79200 centimeters per minute. So, we actually found out the speed of the car. The only thing is we got the speed of the car in terms of centimeters per minute, whereas the question is asking us to find out the speed in terms of kilometers per hour, right? So, first step, let us take the 79200 centimeters per minute and find out the distance that will be covered in one hour. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. Therefore, if I have to convert it and multiply this number with the 60, we will get the speed in terms of centimeters per hour. So many centimeters will be covered in an hour. So, this is again the speed expressed in a unit, but not the unit that we are looking for. The last step left is to convert the centimeter into number of kilometers. We know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So, moving from centimeters to meters to kilometers, that is what I am going to do here too. So, 79200 times 60 divided by 100 will convert this into centimeter per hour to meter per hour. Divide it again by 1000, we will get the answer in terms of kilometers per hour. All that is left is to complete this calculation. The three zeros here will get cancelled with the three zeros in the numerator. 
792 times 6, which is 800 minus 8 times 6, 4800 minus 48, which is equal to 4752. So, 4752 divided by 100 kilometers per hour is the answer, which is 47.52 kilometers per hour. Choice B is the answer to this question. Quickly run through the last step. We found out the speed in terms of centimeters per minute in the last slide. Multiplied that with the 60, we converted it into centimeters per hour. Now, we need to convert it from centimeters per hour to kilometers per hour. 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So, we move from a centimeter to a number of meters per hour by dividing it by 100. Divided it further again by 1000 to convert it into kilometers per hour. This last bit of calculation gave us the answer. Choice B is the answer to this question. Right? Uh, this is a rather easy question, 600 level question. If you get a question of this kind, except for the calculation part, you should be able to nail it in probably about 45 seconds. Get started with your GMAT preparation. We are in the beginning of February. If you are planning to catch the application cycle early enough, then you should start your GMAT preparation right now. If you are applying for a one year MBA program in India, if you are planning to catch the round one application cycle, early application cycle for US business schools, or if you are planning to catch the spring intake, which is typically an intake which is available for European business school, for whichever intake you are looking at, February is a very good time to start your GMAT preparation, right? Take about three, four months to do the preparation. First two, two and a half months would be getting all of your basics, be it in quant, be it in verbal, in place. And then the last one and a half months, do a lot of practice in terms of taking section tests as well as full length mock tests. Get ready for your GMAT starting the second month beginning, second month, third month, fourth month, fifth month. End of May, your preparation should be in ship shape that by mid-June, you should be able to take the GMAT. If you write the GMAT by mid-June, you will definitely be able to catch every application cycle in its earliest cycle. You will be able to catch the spring admission for European Business School well in time to run through the entire process and then process your visa, quit your job, everything. All of that will still be possible to start an MBA as early as 2022 January all the way up to 2022 September. Right? This is the time to get started. If you're looking for an online course, which is going to be comprehensive, the two variants that we have. We have an online course, which is a self-learning course. Visit us at this URL, wzko dot in slash core or if you want a live class go for wzko.in slash live get in touch with us we'll help you prepare for the gmat and ace the gmat best wishes